Hey everyone, it's Carol Lynn, and right now I'm here at the HBO Asian Pacific American Visionaries, which is an annual short film competition dedicated to showcasing emerging APA directors with a unique perspective of the Asian Pacific American experience. The top three selected films will be shown tonight, and this event is hosted by Westworld actor Leonardo Man. So when they asked you to come and host tonight, how did that make you feel? You know, to be part of the HBO uh, Visionaries Award is uh, is a real blessing, and to be uh, the ambassador and that and the one that's going to host is uh, is so I feel so touched and honoured to do that. Um, it's been a long road um, for myself as a as an actor, uh, as a performer, and to know that to have a network like HBO come really back our community um, for the longest time, I felt uh, underrepresented. Um, and now to have a, uh, a network as prolific as HBO really backing us and asking our community to directly tell our stories uh, from the heart is uh, priceless. what your short film is about. Sure, so it's a short film about this Chinese immigrant in the 1950s who comes to join her husband and her first day in America she comes across these segregated restrooms and she's not sure which one she's supposed to use, the colored one or the whites only one. And so uh, it just kind of circles that one event and that one moment. Where was the inspiration, where did the inspiration for the story come from? Yeah, it came from, uh, the inspiration came from a family story that an uncle told me about his experience and his family's experience and his mom coming over to America in the 1940s and that was their sort of um, first day in America. And so when he told me that, it just kind of always stuck with me over the years and when it came time to make a film for my thesis at UT, Austin, uh, I, I thought this would make a great story. <laughs> So tell me what this film that you put together, like how long did it take you to do it? Um, it was probably three weeks or so, two to three weeks. Um, I was on my way to a cruise for my sister's 40th birthday party, an Alaskan cruise. And the call came out for what is home to you. And I was like, you know what? A thing that I've been talking to my family a lot is, you know, remittances. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's, yeah, it's sending money home back to the Philippines and having to work abroad. Hearing that, I was like, I'm going on a cruise full of thousands of Filipinos. And what if I did a story where I was the Filipino cruise worker and I couldn't connect to my son back at home, you know, and feeling what that would be. So I actually didn't write a script. We had different points of like, this is what we want the character to go through. And we went there without seeing the ship, what it would be like. We didn't see any part of Alaska. And we kind of just formed the story, shot all week. And then I came back and I looked at the footage and I was like putting it together like this is a story. and. I mean, it was very, very, very fast process. My short film is called Jiji, and it's an autobiographical work. It's about it's a portrait of a family of of single mother with her two young daughters um, that recently immigrated to Los Angeles in 1997. So it's a period piece. What was the inspiration for you to go ahead and do this short film? Um, well, it was my thesis work from American Film Institute, and we were encouraged to tell our own stories. And so, and we had to shoot it in LA. So I thought, oh, what better than this story that I grew up with? Yeah, it's an autobiographical work. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, how does your family feel about your short film? My mom cried when she saw it. She was like, I don't want to see this again because it reminds me of such hard times. She really loved it. My sister worked as a makeup artist on the shoot, so we had a lot of fun living through that memory again. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you're here to support the APA Visionaries, but what does that mean for you to be here? I think, you know, you really, as an Asian-American actor, you really need to support the community 
as, as much as you can because, you know, we, our work takes us all over the world. So oftentimes we don't get this opportunity to, to at least, you know, reach out and, 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 and say to your, your fellow creators that, welcome, I wish you luck. I wish all the work that you're doing improves year after year after year and that we're going to be represented well. It feels like this night is dedicated to us. So, you know, it's a, it's a night of celebration and it's a night of being able to see some really excellent work, hopefully. And um, yeah, being able to just kind of absorb whatever this evening has in store for us. Is, there's a lot of excitement in the air right now. How does it feel being on a show here and now and, you know, being cast as one of the main leads. I mean, tell me about your experience, you know, as an actor and, you know, trying to land those types of roles in your career. I mean, extremely fortunate and, and something that I, I can't ever really figure out how to comprehend really, but I know <laughs> that it is, you know, it is work that has surmounted to something, you know, and, and if, if anything, it, it gave me a peace of mind that all the work that I had put in prior to booking that role was not all in vain, you know, that there were ladders and, and steps that I had to take in order to get there. And I'm just very excited that it worked out and, you know, and I'm happy to have worked with the people that I've worked with. And yeah, it's, it's wonderful. So I'm just very, I feel very fortunate for the opportunity. Hey, I'm Raymond Lee and this is Hollywood First Look Features.